Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Muna Manzoor and my ID is F2016 1190-43. Welcome to the final project video of American literature. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the most extraordinary and memorable period raised in the history of Native Americans, that is the rise of realism. This particular period initiated from year 1860 to year 1914. The focus of the age was on urbanization and rapid change in American society. It was considered one of the most marvelous period in terms of rising economy and search for ultimate truth. Mark Twain and Charles Dudley Warner published the very first novel reflecting that period in year 1813. Name of the novel was The Gilded Age, a tale of today. Novel projected the ills embedded within the United States of America at times. Those evils included greed, corruption, rampant speculation and bribery. The agenda behind all this was to attain financial growth, material success and easy fortune. Social commentary and comic wit were the preferred areas of that period. Moving forward with the historical background of the rise of realism, the role of literature in that period according to Twain was to cultivate a taste for the distasteful, to endeavor to see things as they are, not as they ought to be. Aesthetic of realism was introduced by the writers of that period. It revolved around disclosing reality and distasteful truth through literature. Real depended on where one stands in society. If one is born with a silver spoon in mouth, then you get to enjoy the luxuries of life. On the contrary, if one is born in poor class, they are bound to endure hardships and calamities that fate strikes upon them. The period also introduced the notion of imperialism. This period witnessed a massive killings, bloodshed, butchery, civil war and World War I. On one hand, civil war changed lives of 4 million African Americans in regard of freedom from slavery. On the other hand, it brought a huge massacre in the way of deaths of countless soldiers. Women were granted several rights like education and their position was redefined as humanity was in bloom. Afro, moreover, Afro-Americans men were also granted with the right to vote. However, the period also detected the influence of unseen forces like industrialization that was moving the entire society. This aspect is quite relatable to this uh, this age as well. That's why the 21st century was also named as Second Gilded Age. Author's Biography Henry James Henry James was one of the most profound and remarkable American novelist and critic. Henry James was born in the year 1843 in New York and died in the year 1916 in London. He was considered one of the grand figures in translative culture, that is, translate culture in expanded form. He was well known for exploring themes like innocence and exuberance that is the quality of being full of energy. The new world in clash with corruption and wisdom of the old. James' father was a prominent social theorist and lecturer. James was regarded as one of the most skillful writers of short stories in America. 
Though an active observer and participant in society, James avoided involvement with people. James documented stories, reviews, and articles. James' works included his masterpiece, The Portrait, the Portrait of a Lady, in, which was published in year 1881. The Bostonians in, was published in 1886 and the ambassadors were published was published in year 1903 story the real thing is a well written work of author henry james who successfully portrayed the rise of realism the story the rise the real thing suggests and deals with the representation of reality through art as the name suggests. Portrayal of monarch family by James as nothing but pretending real reflects the genocide of literalism. The story real thing highlight the irony that revolves around the so-called aristocrats. James used a humorous tone along with satire to disclose some of the ground realities that are associated with the upper class gentlemen and ladies through the characters of Major and Mrs. Monarch. Story also projects the harsh reality that is appearance is temporary but talent is forever thing. In other words, the real and original is talent and skills rather than appearance and status. The ending of the story suggests a very useful moral lesson through the characters of Oronti and Miss Sherm that monarchy is not associated with how rich a person is apparently. Nobility and realism lies in how capable a person is rather than a disguised appearances. At last but not least, just for the fun fact, Henry James was never married. Now I'm afraid our journey ends here. Thank you very much for granting me your quality time. Have a nice time. Stay safe and take care everyone.